Another protocol that it's important to know about for the Cisco CCNA is CDP or the Cisco Discovery Protocol. The Cisco Discovery Protocol operates at layer 2, so it operates at uh, the layer of MAC addresses, um, not of IP addresses. So it's a layer 2 protocol, um, and it's a Cisco proprietary protocol that Cisco uses to discover other Cisco devices on the network, right? And how it works is that CDP um, sends out advertisements out of its interfaces when it's on. When it's on, it sends advertisements to directly connected neighboring devices. And if those directly connected neighbor devices are also Cisco devices running CDP, then basically they can exchange information. So this can be handy for a network admin who wants to map out the network and discover all of the Cisco devices that are interconnected. And um, so the way Cisco CDP operates, though, um, it only functions by directly connected neighbors. So if you were into this router right here, if you consoled into this router, you would discover maybe a Cisco switch over here and another Cisco router over here. And so that's what we'll do right now. So we'll just I'm just going to click on the router and get a command line interface and hit enter and type enable and now I'm in the um, privileged exec mode and I can run a show CDP to start with so I'll just do a show CDP and you can tell right off the bat it tells you that CDP is in fact working because it says it's sending CDP packets every 60 seconds out of its interfaces alright so um, CDP advertisements are going out every 60 seconds and it's got a hold time value of 180 seconds so if it receives advertisement information from another Cisco device it's gonna hold that in um, in its buffer or it's going to hold it into its memory for 180 seconds before um, letting it go. Okay, so let's see here and we'll do a, another one. We'll say show CDP, right? And then we'll do a question mark. You can see we can see show the CDP entry, interface, or neighbors. So we'll do neighbors. And you can see that now what we can see is that we have we've got some capability codes right here but what we have is a switch named switch right there's no name on it it's um, a local interface uh, fast ethernet 00, zero and hold time 135 um, seconds capability it's a switch platform it's a 2960 um, Cisco switch uh, this is a router uh, you can see it says R here and uh, PT1000 router on um, serial 2 slash 0. So um, its local interface is 2 slash 0 and my interface uh, is 2 slash 0. So this is the, um, and let's just double check here, the switch fast ethernet at zero, 0, that's on this switch. And then the port ID, this would be this router's um, switch, not, I mean, this router's interface, not the switch's interface, okay? So that's important. Probably for a test you'd want to know that. Um, we can also do a show CDP neighbors detail command. Okay, and if we do that, we'll see here a little more information. Um, we'll see here, uh, okay, show CDP neighbors detail. We can see off the bat here, I'm going to scroll up, that we've got a switch, 2960 switch, right? Um, outgoing port um, let's see here the version of iOS on the switch that's useful okay um, the advertisement versions duplex also this is interesting we can see the IP address even though it's a layer 2 protocol if we do a show CDP neighbors detail we can see the IP address of the um, neighboring device okay and then down here you can see, oh, here's the IP address of the router, not of the switch, the router, right? And if we hit more, we can get a little more information. But once again, the iOS and things like that. Um, so it's a very useful protocol. Let's see here. The other thing is, um, even though it is a useful protocol, a lot of people feel that CDP, since it's talking all the time on its interfaces and it's not secure, that it is a security risk. So you want to be able to shut it down. If you want to shut down CDP, you're going to go to um, Configure Terminal to go to Global Config Mode, and you're going to do No CDP 
run and that will turn off CDP okay now if you wanted to turn it back on you would just type CDP space run okay but oftentimes you want to have it disabled okay now if you want to turn it off only on a specific interface so for instance um, you know if, if this uh, if you wanted just to turn it off let's say on one interface so this router right here has fast Ethernet um, 0 0 right okay so what we could do is we'll say interface F A 0 slash 0 that'll take us into interface mode and we could say no CDP and then a question mark and you can see the next part of the command is enable so no CDP enable will shut off CDP only on that interface okay so that's another command that you want to know um, as well now last but not least if we want to find out about more devices for instance if we want to find out about these Cisco switches over here what we'll want to do is telnet from this router into this router and then run our CDP commands on this router um, once again um, CDP probably is on by default um, on by default with a lot of um, Cisco iOS 12 and you probably want to turn it off um, it is considered security risk it is um, sucking up some bandwidth um, but um, but it's also a useful protocol if you're trying to map out your network.